Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D messaging animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. Now it's very easy to create and you can use these kind of animations in your Instagram Reels, Explainer videos or wherever you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and first we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame width 30 fps, duration you can pick whatever you want, just click on OK. First let's create a background, so right click new, let's add a solid and I'm going to like leave it to this color. Click on OK. Now first we are going to create our messaging box, so for that let's select the rounded rectangle tool. Just click and drag till it creates a box like this. Now we can select this and you can make this like blue color somewhere around here looks good click on ok now we can select this and we want the corners to be a little bit more rounded so i'm going to set this to let's say 50 so we have these round, nice rounded edges now we want to have a little bit of shape area so that it appears as a message dialog box so for that we can select the text tool now we can just simply zoom in and first i'm going to click over here so we have this point now let's hold on the shift key and just click on to this point now we can click over here and then just simply drag it so that it will create this shape. Now if I go away, you can see we have created our dialog box and I want it actually to be inside this shape layer. So what you can do is you can either create it while selecting this layer or after once you have created it, you can just simply cut it and then just simply go to content and paste it. So you can see we have the shape. Now we can delete this. Now we can select this, hold on the Control key, double click to move its anchor point in the center. Now we can add our text as well. Let's select this text tool and just type whatever you want. I'm going to type what's up and let's align it in the center as well. Make sure that its anchor point is in the center. Let's press S and just scale this down. Let's select this and let's align it in the center as well. Now once you have both of these, we can also change a couple of these things. So in the text, we are going to make it to be left aligned so that whenever we have to add the or type a new text we don't have to like align it again and again so once you have this let's place it somewhere around in the middle so let's just play around with the positions perfect so now it's in the center and i'm done with my text now we can select this and parent it to this layer so whenever we animate our shape layer our text will move along with it now we can select this move anchor tool and i want the anchor point to be at this corner so that we can animate it by using the scale property so press s let's add a keyframe let's press r for rotation now let's press u to see both of these keyframes now this is going to be a final position let's just quickly zoom in and i am going to move it to somewhere around 10 seconds 10 frames and just move with these keyframes over here and in the beginning we can just rotate it to something like 15 we basically want it to come from the bottom and also scale we can set this to zero now we can select all of these keyframes press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph and first we can select the rotation and i want it to be like extremely fast so something like this looks good now we can select the scale and for the scale we can make it start a little bit slower and then we have this quick motion there you go so now if i press play you can see we have this very nice animation and our message is popping up like that now we are done with our first text and we are ready to add it on the both sides so first let's create a base so for that you can just simply select the rectangle tool and just simply click and drag and let's just place it over here now let's place it down below on to all of these layers let's press t and i'm going to lower down its opacity quite a bit we basically wanted to have a little bit of this let's press s and i'm going to quickly scale this down and just go to this position and we can scale it down and after that you can place it to have this conversation sort of thing so let's place it to this side perfect now we want other text to come from over here so for that we can select these two layers let's press ctrl d to duplicate them let's move them to the top now make sure that this is parented to this layer now select this layer and just move it to this side now we want it to be flipped to the other side so we can press s now in order to flip this all we have to do is just uncheck this value and select this box and in front of this just add negative so that it will flip the entire thing now we don't want our text to be flipped so what we can do is we can first unparent it like that then just simply add negative to in front of this so once it is flipped then we can parent it back to this now we can select our text and just align it to the center 
but we also want it to animate from the other side so let's press r and in the beginning instead of 15 we can set this to negative 15 now if i press play you can see we have our second dialog box and let's just select them and just place it to the other side let's quickly change its color let's go and pick a little bit of dark color there you go now we have this dark color and again you can change the text to whatever you want and let's just place it over here perfect so now we have our two texts now you can play around with the timing of these so first this text will appear and let's move it somewhere around here then this will appear and the same way you can like keep on adding more of these blocks and have full conversation so again we can duplicate these two now all we have to do is just simply place them to the very top and then just simply select this layer and just move it down below so that we have the second text now we can again change the text to whatever you want and you can also use emojis or any other thing that you want let's move it over here let's select both of them and just place it over here now you can see we have these three boxes there you go now in the same way you can keep on duplicating these layers and creating all of these text boxes i will quickly do and i will come back once it is done so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so now i have added my text and we have created this animation so we have this conversation going on from the both end and I have also spaced them accordingly. So once you're done with this, we are ready to pre-compose everything so that we can animate them in 3D space. So let's select everything, then right click, pre-compose. Let's call this one text and the rest of things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now let's delete this layer, which is at the back. We don't want to see it. Let's go inside the text com and we want all of these layers to be 3D. Just click and drag until all of these are 3D. Let's go back to this layer. And we also want to make sure that this option collapse transformation is checked. So just click on that. If you're not able to see it, then make sure that you have this option selected like that. And once you have this, just enable this. Now we are done with the conversation. Our next step is to make it 3D and have really nice camera moments. So for that, all we have to do is just right click. Let's add a camera. And for this one, we are going to use the 24 mm preset to note camera as the things will remain like this. Just click on OK. Once you have this, we can animate it by simply selecting this camera layer. Let's press P for position. Also, let's open this up and we have this point of interest as well. So let's add keyframe to this point as well. Now let's go to our first text and just move these points over here. Now we are going to use a shortcut, which is C. So if you press the C key, you can see it will swap between these three things. So this is the move or orbit around. So if I select this layer, if I click, you can see I can move around this thing. Now, if I press C again, this will help me to move around my scene like this by changing the position. Now, if I press C again, then this will allow me to zoom in. So we are going to basically use these three tools to animate our camera. Let me just quickly go back to where we started. So first I'm going to press C to go to the round orbit around tool and just pick a really nice point so just click over here and just move it so i think this looks good now we can press c again and just go and make sure that this is in the center there you go now we can press c again and let's just zoom in a little bit perfect now we have our first keyframe let's move it to the very beginning now as soon as our second text comes up so somewhere around here what we can do is we can again press c and let's just move it to the other side so just click and move then let's press c again and just place it in the middle so you can enable the title action save as well just to make sure that this text is always in the center there you go now we have our second text we have first coming up and then we have our camera moving to the other side now we can move a little bit ahead so we have the second text so again we can move it down below let's move and where we have our next text coming up somewhere around here let's press c and let's click and move around and make sure that this layer is selected so that it will move a little bit smoothly let's press c again and we can probably zoom out let's press c and we can place it somewhere in the middle of our composition now let's go to our last text which is over here we can play around with the timing of these later on let's click and move just orbit around this let's press c place it in the middle let's press c again and we can probably zoom in a little bit 
there you go now we have added these keyframes now i can select all of them press f9 let's go to the graph and i'm going to change the graph to look a little bit like that so we want smooth motion in the beginning and at the end and in the middle we can have this very quick motion there you go now we can play around with the timing of it so first we want our text to start and we want it to stay a little bit so somewhere around here it will stay and then it will move and it will reach as soon as we have this text over here so just play around with the timing of it maybe a little bit more yeah, i think this looks good and after that we have our second text which is over here perfect now after this we can move and just reach as soon as we have our other text coming up now after this we can move it like a little bit delay there you go now we have our last text as well now i'm done with the timing of these texts and my camera is moving very nicely to them now what i can do is i can easily change the view to get like really nice angle so for example i can go to this point now i can select the layer let's press c and just change to whatever angle you want so i can just simply click and drag let's press c again and just move it to this side so what it will do is it will quickly change these keyframes without having to do any, anything so you can see now we have this very nice animation and as it is moving over here i can again click and change the position or the angle and just place it wherever i want and let's just move it a little bit more let's press c and just move it to this point perfect now you can see we have changed the angle of it really nicely so in this way once you have placed the timing of your text you can easily change the camera angle to whatever you want now once you're done with this you can place a phone screen inside which you want your text to appear so for that i'm going to use this iphone png image which is just this simple cutout of this iphone with nothing inside it so in order to add this all you have to do is just simply select this iphone and let's just drag it inside the text composition let's place it over here now it's quite small so we can like extend its size so that all of these texts are appearing at the edges let's press s and just scale this up nicely perfect so here we have placed everything and make sure that this is 3d as well let's press s and we can probably scale this up there you go now we have added these texts to the edges of this iphone now if i press play you can see all of these animations are already applied and we have our really nice phone and all of these texts now at last you can add some depth of field to really enhance this so for that let's select this and let's press a a let's make sure that this depth of field is on let's add a keyframe for focus distance and aperture as well now first increase the aperture quite a bit so you can see it will blur out everything now we can play around with the focus so let's just focus this up till you see this text coming up clearly so at this point we have this nice text let's press hue let's go to the next text so you can see it is quite blurred so we can play around with the focus distance let's just lower it down also we can lower down the aperture a little bit so that the whole text is visible there you go now let's move to this text and again we can play around with the focus distance let's bring it closer maybe let's lower it down so that we have both of these texts like equally visible perfect let's go to our next text now at last if i press play you can see we have our 3d phone and all of these texts with this really nice depth of field as well so this is how you can create these kind of 3d messaging animation in after effects without using any third party plugin now the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one